there we are guys, welcome back to our Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. We are back as you can see in the Spirit Temple as Adult Link and there you can see it we are wearing our new item, the Silver Gauntlets, pretty nice. Um, by the way, just to make sure, here are our 97 Golden Skulltulas for some reason, I really don't know why. Um, I didn't save the one on the fairy oasis outside in the desert, so uh, yeah. God knows why that is. And now that we have the gauntlets on, we can push and pull this huge silver boulder over here. And uh, one thing, pretty quick as well, that I tried to say a couple of times in the last episode and I was looking for the right word, a pretty easy one actually, is torch. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Um, I was always talking about those lights when we had to lit them with the uh, with our deku sticks. Oh, oh, oh a wolf horse. Nearly forgot about you, man. But he's down, sorry for not saying too much. Here's the Triforce, we quickly grab out or pull out our ocarina, play Zelda's Lullaby as always in this game. So yeah, um, that was the one that is missing and within this dungeon we will see or find Golden Skulltula number 98 and 99 and then we only have one to go, so that's uh, quite an achievement I guess. Although, as you already know, we got all the important stuff, and here's the compass. Nice to have. Uh, we already got all the important stuff that we can get from the uh, Skulltula house. So the heart piece and the uh, adult wallet, I guess it was, and all those things. So the thing we get for a hundred is actually, um, yeah nothing special we get 200 rupees whenever we enter the house so that's what they said at the very beginning of the game we oh how could i miss that ouch go up here again so we have a, another room with five rupees and yeah as i was about to say um there it is great you will be very very rich or I don't know how exactly they put it but um, yeah that's basically what they said um, which simply meant as I said we get 200 rupees every time we enter the house but I mean who needs that much money anyway there are our five rupees, but as you may have already guessed, yes, there is a block of time and I quickly need to look up the song again, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so uh, the song of time, there it is, right a down, okay. Great. So in this episode, as I was saying, we make three parts, right a down, right a down down. Uh, we make three parts for this dungeon because I can imagine or I can assure you the boss fight will be very long I guess and or it can at least be very tricky and I know back from the water temple for example how long a boss fight can be. Here we destroy the golden skull which is number 98 and we want to get through here whoa, whoa, whoa. and there's the small room oh oh, 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 yeah totally forgot about you man a like like falling from the ceiling that will happen a couple of times in this dungeon actually um, so as you can see yes I got another fairy as well from the oasis always nice to have I will just quickly save here um, and then we will have a third episode for the oh damn it we'll we will have a third episode for the boss fight 
No, 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 no. Oh, damn it. And we didn't even hit him. That's quite a shame. Yes, my shield is gone. Isn't that lovely? No. Come here, sucker. Okay, that's number one. And he's down, finally, thanks. Uh, those guys can really be quite annoying. Yay, I got a Hylian shield and 10 rupees. As you know from the Archery Wrench minigame, we lost lots and lots of money. So it's uh, good to know that we can get some more in here. And now we need to make it back through this room. Oops, wait right here. Oh, oh, yeah, Jens. I was just about to say you have to wait, but I obviously couldn't. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Rushing on. Um, where are we? So that's the left door. No, that's the right one already, so we can open up this one right here. Oh, and another, yeah, and another like-like. Damn it. Oh, sorry. I thought the <laughs> the flying pot could actually kill the like like that would have been quite funny, I guess. Come here, stupid sucker. Uh oh, damn it, it's getting pretty. So that was a hit. Ooh, pretty close. I don't even know if we need to kill it. I guess not. We can just make it through here and don't care for it at all. Yeah, maybe. Let's try it like this. And just go up here. So, there we are. Ah, okay. And we have to turn the statue. Oh, oh yeah, there is an invisible wall master in here. Is that right? Let's check. So, there was obviously something invisible in here. And we will check that by grabbing our lens of truth and let's see there he is oh and he's green okay so let's quickly oh yeah we can't totally forgot about that we can't use our spin attack as long as we are Go for it. Ah, damn it. Could have used that one. Uh, so, can we only... Oh, we can probably only push it, right? Link, grab. Where does it say grab? Grab, link, grab it, link. Okay. So that's one chest, and that's the second one, I guess. Yes, it is. And we need to, oh, we can probably do it in one simple step. This one opens the door and that's basically everything we wanted to do. So let's open that up and we are back in the giant Colossus room. So that's good to know. And let's get up here and hookshot over to, oh, okay, let's. That was close. I guess that was close. So there's the sign I'm looking for. I really thought we would make it, but otherwise I will just quickly equip our hover boots because we have to make it over to the left hand of the giant colossus. And let's go for it right here. Whoops. Okay. And change again because I really don't like those shoes. And we need the ocarina again. So we grab that as well. Play Zelda's Lullaby again. And that will make two chests appear. And one of them... There's number one. And I don't know if you have seen the second one. I didn't, so that's good to know, I guess. Uh, 
Okay. Can we like long shot over there? I guess let's try to. Oh yeah, yeah, we can actually. Let's try it like this. Yep. That does work. Great. And now we open it up. And find a small key. And from here on we can get into this corner. Oh no, we can't. But Navi is glowing green, so... Let's just quickly save for that little key and then we play our world famous Scarecrow song. So I hope it works this time. I don't know, it's it seems kind of random because she flies up there. What the hell? Yeah, I can see you standing there, Navi. I don't know what your problem is. I'm standing on the hand. I can easily hookshot over there. What the? Okay. Okay, that was close. Let's get up here. Really don't see the problem here, guys. I'm sorry. Where's the... Oh, okay, yeah. We need to lit the torches. That's the word I was looking for last time. So we won't need the lens anymore. So let's quickly lit up those torches in here and then I have to get back in that corner because we want to grab our golden sculptor number 99 and I definitely want to get that before I finish this episode no it's not, it's we're not even close to the end of the episode but I mean we're on a really good way so here's the dungeon map and let me quickly get back up here I guess so we just push the Amos over here which opens up the door exactly like we did last time and then I want to make it up here and maybe try okay so now we can do it or what I, I don't get it Let's try again. Maybe this helps to make, uh, what's his name again? Peter? Or... Oh yeah, there he is. Okay. Finally. I don't know why we couldn't do it from the hand. I really don't. But there it is. Golden Skeletula number 99. Isn't that a nice number, I guess? No, I got it, guys. I'm sorry. Um, I forgot a rusty switch we saw in this room. Sorry. Ah, too obvious, guys. Too obvious. Could have done that one earlier. So you hookshot up here as soon as you get into the room, basically. And then you hookshot yourself over to this chest and not oversee the switch like I did. <laughs> Too obvious. Um, and this, yeah, that should open up the door I was looking for. Um, so as I was saying, that's just a shortcut, but we might need it through the course of this dungeon. So there it is, great. Let's quickly push this block inwards and then we have to get back to the room we just entered, so the little Beamos corridor. Ah, oh, that's a long way to go. Okay, number one. Yeah, it takes some time. And then you quickly oh, hit that rusty switch and that makes an elevator to the main room. So that's a really nice shortcut whenever we might need it. I guess right after this episode I might need it because I will need to uh, make another cut after this episode. And now we make our way oops, no, come on, back up here again and go to the top of the room 
I guess. Yes. And then we make our way through here. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Great. So there's the Beamos corridor. We just quickly go through here. Don't want to talk to him anyway. And there is Anubis. Not only one, but two. And where's the third one? Can't see the third one. Okay, we can't kill him like this. Actually, I want to... Yeah, it's vulnerable to fire. Yes, great. Okay. Uh, sometimes Z-targeting can be really annoying, guys, as you may know. So let's grab Din's fire. There's actually a chance to kill them all at once, but I will do it like this. So there are two down. You could simply... Come here. Yeah, that'll kill. Pretty simple. Great. Yeah, that'll do the trick. So, yeah, that's the door we're supposed to go through. And now we are in the Amos puzzle room. And all of those Amos are actually, uh, yeah, real. So they would attack us. And we need to lure them towards the switch. So we will do it like this using our fairy bow. Oh, aim properly. Oh, what? Okay. Oh, he was... Oh, ouch. Damn it, so now we might have a problem here. Okay, he opens it up again. Thanks! What a coincidence! <laughs> Let's quickly go through. <laughs> go through here. We won't worry about those two chests right now. And there's the second iron knuckle room. Why exactly am I not wearing my shield? Well, I don't want to use it anyway. Because we want to go extra long range now. Bigger own sword against his giant axe. <laughs> Ouch, yeah, that was pretty close. Okay, we're not supposed to do that. And he's already down, so that's how simple it is when you're an adult. Let me quickly grab those recovery hearts right here. Great, is there anything left? No, okay. And as we go through here, you can probably see what's coming. Yes, there's a large chest and that will contain the mirror shield for the end of this episode. Pretty happy with that, guys. Diddle -de -de. You found the mirror shield. The shield's polished surface can reflect light or energy. Press R to use it. So yes, we can't use it at any stage to um, defend us against physical attacks. We have to switch back to the Hylian shield for that. But we have the second dungeon item. And with that, we are already at the end of the second episode. As you can see, little fun fact again right here. They changed the look of the mirror shield in the GameCube version. You can see if you just Google mirror shield, um, there are a lot of stories about, uh, well, it has something to do with racism and stuff about Muslims. I don't know, because the original mirror shield had the, uh, uh, the moon and the stars, or the new moon and the star sign, as we know it from I guess the the Turkish flag or the uh, yeah for example just FYI and with that we're right here on the end card and I will say thanks again for watching guys click oh a <laughs> kako uh, click last episode to see the beginning of the dungeon as child link and how we got the silver gauntlets we are wearing right now and click next episode to see how we get the boss key and how we fight the two witches the boss in this dungeon, what's their name again? The Twin Rover Sorceress Sisters, exactly. So, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and I will see you next time on Let's Play Ocarina of Time. Bye!